how to paddle board. So we're here at Rogers Landing with our paddle board and I'm going to show you guys how to set it up. If you want to, when we're pumping it up, we want the valve to be down and to the right and it's going to pop up into the air. That means it's allowed to hold air. So our next step is that we're going to screw the end of our hose into the valve and then we're ready to pump. It's always good to pump with your arms straight so that your legs do the work. pumped up you can check the PSI on your pump right over here if you want to take a look and it should be about 12 to 15 PSI depending on your um, inflatable paddleboard so now we can unscrew the pump so now that the board's inflated we can attach our fin to the end of the board so we'll flip it over the fin is gonna slide so that the pointy part is pointing backwards and then we have our locking mechanism that will just slide right into this hole and that will lock our fin in place. Okay, so the last piece before we get on the water is gonna be just attaching our leash to the end of the board. This just allows us to be in arm's reach if we happen to fall off the board and we're still attached to it and we can pull it back to us. So for that, you can just attach the Velcro to the back of the strap on the board and we're ready to go. Let's go to the water. Hey guys, uh, just talking about paddle boarding. So just a little info about it. Roughly 400 calories burns, that's about six mets. So think of this as you're riding a stationary bike or you're we're doing some really heavy yard work. Uh, as far as the actual paddle boarding goes, you're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel it in your quads, your hammies, your glutes, but you're gonna feel it in your arms too, buys, tries, your rhomboids, your abs. It's a good little workout, uh, but you get to enjoy some sun and it's really relaxing. So do it with some friends, come on out, it's a good time. Before we get on the water today, we need to make sure that our paddle is the right height. And so when you're doing that, the easiest way is to put your hand up in the air and the paddle should be able to be just gripped by your hand and then it's the right height. So the easiest way to get up on your board when you want to start paddle boarding is to go on one knee and then kind of pop up. That's the easiest way to keep your balance. And you want to make sure that you're centered over that hand strap that we're clearing the board with, because that will kind of balance your board, your, your body on the board. I'll take it. Sailing, baby. I'm sailing, baby. <laughs> <laughs> 